So one of the big things we get with bunker, uh, bunker plays, especially in lessons, is people struggle, obviously, getting them out and getting them close to the green. One big thing we point out is if you're confident out of bunkers, chances are it's going to help the rest of your game. You're not going to worry about steering clear of a bunker. So I'm on the second hole here. I've got about 100 metres with the bunker on the right-hand side. I'm a pretty confident bunker player, so they're not, that's not going to enter my head too much. But if you're not good out of bunkers, chances are you're going to pull it out to the left to do everything you can to stay out of that bunker. So we're going to head down there, show you a few tips to help you get out of some bunkers and hopefully this will help the rest of your game as well. So one of the biggest complaints we hear often is there's never enough sand in bunkers. It doesn't matter where you go, everyone complains about no sand in the bunkers. Better bunker players prefer less sand. They know they're going to get less resistance through it. Um, they can use the sole of the club better. So one, biggest, one of the biggest reasons people like more sand is because they try to dig it out too much. They hit too far behind the ball. So too often we see players get to here and then try to dig it out because they're told to hit the sand. We want you striking the sand, but not a big steep divot. We just want the sole of the club cutting under the ball. That'll let the ball pop up and release. So the next time you're hitting a bunker shot, when you set up, just feel like you're staying nice and tall, but letting the club cut under the ball, not trying to dig it out too much. So we're gonna see how that works now. see there I haven't had taken too big a divot I've just taken the top level of sand off I haven't tried to dig it out uh, it's come out nice and high a little bit of check and then release just past the hole so just to try this next time remember stay nice and tall through your bunker shot don't try to dig it out and we want to be aiming about one to three inches behind the ball so if you're struggling with your bunker play come and see Matt and myself book in for a lesson we are going to have a couple of bunker clinics over the next few weeks uh, which you'll see advertised around the pro shop so we hope to see you out here and not only improve your bunker shots but also the rest of your game as well.